In this session, we're going to talk about how to write a video. You just go up here to open. Uh, you can only write videos using Track Studio. So we'll go ahead and find our file. In this case, I've already created a file with the video overlay, but if you didn't, you could just open a data file as you normally would using the dashboard and the video option here and selecting the video file that you want to see. Now that we're in the setup window, you can see that you can pick the laps here, and in this case, we're choosing the best lap. Um, you only want to select the laps that you want to create a video for. Uh, so that's a unique way of doing it. Um, so you don't create a long video of laps you don't really want to see. So in this case, we'll just select our best lap. You can also do this with theoretical best lap. So if you say you created a theoretical best lap, in this case, it was a 230. And you can actually create that in video. And we'll go ahead and press OK from there. So once the video is open and all the data is up here, uh, you can actually go to the video window and choose Write Video. By selecting that, you'll open up this creation window here. And this is where you'd actually lay everything out. In this case, we want to use uh, at the bottom here, we have the different selection of what's on the screen. So we have the dash up here at the bottom. In this particular case, we didn't have RPM. So rather than selecting an RPM dash, we'll go ahead and select a speed only dash. And then we can go ahead and select high contrast if we want to make it uh, punch out a little bit more. You can choose the size here. You can choose the transparency. And down here, you can actually change the position. So I'm going to leave it in that position. Uh, these other tabs give you lap information, so you can go ahead and uh, enable or disable that information here. And you can choose the position and size just the same as before. Track map, you can actually rotate it if you'd like. And you can change the size and position. Um, the info allows you to actually change what information you want to have displayed on the screen, so you can actually go in here and edit the information if you want to put something particular up there, or a particular driver that maybe wasn't actually driving the car in the data file. Um, up here you can change the quality as well as the video size. In this case it's a uh, full size HD video so we're going to go ahead and export it as such. And up here at the top this shows you the data file session, the video file, and then the output actually says where you want to put it. In this case, I'm going to change that. And you can go in here and actually select the format. I'm going to go ahead and select AVI as the format I'd like to create it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose the folder which I'd like to create, create the uh, video file to be in. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and select uh, file on our computer here and go ahead and you can put in the file name here and then you can hit save hit OK and from there all you have to do is hit start and the video will start creating uh, it'll give you a time of creation down here at the bottom as well as the frames per second that it's currently running and once the video is completed, it will give you a little pop-up that says, would you like to view the video now? And then you can do what you choose with the video, such as put it on our website of shareandcompare.com or go ahead and just upload it to YouTube and send us a link.